As we lead together in our all-star community, we have leaders who have stood firm for the mission of the USASF and what we can do together. Since 2004, selected individuals who have been committed to uniting together for a common purpose have been inducted into the USASF Hall of Fame. We continue to honor Morton Bird, Jeff Webb, Tammy Van Vliet, Mike Burgess, Elaine Pascal, Jeff Folks, Steve Peterson, Kevin Jones, Steve Wedge, Les Stella, Lynn Singer, Carl Olson, Victor Rosario, Bill Presson, Debbie Love, Justin Carey, Ross Moriali, Catherine Morris, Colleen Little, Jody Melton, Jim Chadwick, Melanie Berry, and Orson Sykes. Tonight, we induct two more individuals who have led the way in all-star cheerleading and dance. To present this honor, please welcome back to the stage, Jim Chadwick. The one thing our two Hall of Fame inductees share is a vision that goes beyond just their gym or studio. It's a vision that sees the scope of what all-star can be all around the world. And uh, as uh, Jeff was the first gym that was visited, uh, our uh, second uh, inductee actually was the second gym that was visited, first dance studio that was visited. And during that visit, we were really talking cheer. And the point was made is that all-star dance and cheer should be together because they reinforce each other and they are spirit in total. And so it took us a couple of years to get that done, but, it, but that was the genesis for All-Star Dance. And uh, this individual has done so many things, uh, it's almost hard to count them all quietly, not uh, in a showy way, but let me give you an example. At the very first Dance Worlds, we were all consumed with getting the right floor and the right set and the lighting and everything and neglected one of the most obvious things. So when the doors opened and this thing filled up very quickly, uh, what this program did was came in and took all the front row seats with their parents and their staff. And I saw that and I went, that's interesting, uh, what are they doing? And let me tell you what they were doing. They were saving those so that all the parents from every team that came in to perform could sit in the front row. This even before we had priority seating. They actually did that on our behalf, never even mentioned to us, but when we saw that, that was the genesis for us trying to do that. And uh, I would like to uh, ask Mike Reynolds to introduce our second inductee, Dan Sapp. this is a little awe-inspiring with all these amazing coaches and athletes out here so you're a little intimidating right now um, I'm sure you've heard the term silent but deadly but tonight I'm using that to describe Dan Sapp um, he's quite a man he doesn't he doesn't like being the center of attention he doesn't boast he doesn't brag and everything he does is about grabbing your attention you'll never hear him talk negative or tell you about how amazing his teams are or about what he's done but he will constantly be thinking of how teams are or what he, what he needs to do. Um, winning is amazing. And just to prove that, Dan has won hundreds of national titles, um, three ICU Team USA World titles, and 16 USASF Dance World Championship titles. He also thinks losing is a, a way of growing a chance to step up your game and keep your students and himself in check. No one's unbeatable, no one wins forever, and no one will ever succeed without failure. He teaches his team's life lessons. No one, um, I'm just gonna backtrack. He teaches his team's life lessons um, beyond the world of dance. They go well into the future when they're employees, mothers, fathers, maybe future dance instructors themselves. Success only comes with hard work, determination, perseverance, and many, many, many sore muscles. He teaches his students that talk is cheap. Don't brag, don't trash talk. 
Let your talent be your voice and scream to the rooftops. The floor is your battleground and nowhere else. It's been well over 25 years he's been working on his craft and excelled at what he does. He's not only an amazing coach, but he also choreographs every single routine that comes out of pace. I believe he's helped change the face of dance and the dance industry as we all know it. His choreography, teaching, leadership, and ongoing persistence to grow. With USASF, Jim Chadwick, and so many others giving him a place to show his talents and his dreams, he has excelled in his craft and so deserves his appointment to the USASF Hall of Fame. To my partner and to one of the most truly talented people I'll ever honor to know, Dan Zapp. thank Jim Chadwick, Tegan Reeves, and the USASF committee for this great honor. I still remember eight years ago when Jim called me to, to go to lunch and um, Cheer Worlds had been going on for three years and he wanted my input on getting dance started. So here we are in our seventh year going strong, so I'm really, really excited about that. I'm very excited for two reasons. Just the fact that we're here at Worlds with teams and friends from around the world that I don't get to see very often. I'm receiving this amazing award. And number two, bear with me, um, my parents are here to witness this. My mom, my mom got ill, very ill a few years back and wasn't able to come. And she's here tonight, my beautiful mom. She's doing really well, so thank you, I love you. Receiving this honor this evening has to be the highlight of my career. I feel that I, I'm such a lucky man to do what I, what I love so much and to see the people and friends and work with the staff that I have and get to know people new and old from all around the world. Um, and I'm appreciated, that's amazing. <laughs> they say you can't have your cake and eat it too, but I feel like I have the best of both worlds. While I have this platform, I would just like to wish everyone the best of luck. Um, to all the teams, coaches, and staff that put endless hours into making this amazing event and seamlessly. It, it just blows my mind. So thank you to the staff at Good Luck. Also, to use this platform, I'd just like to remind everyone that we are the hosting country, and it's up to us to make sure that we represent the USASF at, and our country in the highest manner. Um, starting off with sportsmanship, it's not all, all about getting the sportsmanship award. It's actually teaching students and everyone involved that not taking first isn't a bad thing. Um, it's a part of life and growth that makes us better competitors and people in general, and it's how we, well we deal with it that makes a difference. All we can do is put our best foot forward. It's very important that we support the other countries. Um, we kind of take it gr for granted that you know, the money that we have to raise and the time and effort, but we don't take into consideration what these other countries do. So if we can really support them and get involved, that would be great. I'm always telling my, my teams and my parents that it's not just a competition, it's an education. When will these kids ever have this experience in their life where all these cultures are together in one room? It's amazing. Um, last, I'd like to thank my, my partner, business partner of 30 years. I've never thought I could be in public to say that I love my partner and we've been together. We're soulmates and I love you my friends. Thank you everyone and I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.